sometimes it's not the big glaring performance problems that get you, it's the little insignificant cost of small functions executed over and over again that add up to big problems. I'm Joanna Smith, and rather than suffering the death of a thousand cuts, you can utilize batching to keep your app alive. Almost everything in computing has some associated performance overhead that goes along with it. This can be something big, like decompressing an image, which requires a bunch of memory allocations to store the intermediate data, or it can be something small, like the extra memory copies and pointer management that tag along with recursive functions. Now, typically, these perf taxes aren't much of a concern, but when executed multiple times, where multiple is some seriously big number, this overhead can become a serious performance burden for your application. And this is where batching comes in handy. Batching is the process of grouping together identical instances of a task. This way, the associated overhead happens once, not once per instance. For example, if you are going to render the same image 20 times, try loading it once before you begin instead of loading it for every render. After all, nesting your computations together gets you more bang for the buck. For Android, one of the most important places you can leverage batching is with networking requests. Basically, there's an overhead cost each time you need to turn on your phone's cell radio. So if you're sending a packet out once every 30 seconds, you're paying for that cost every packet. Instead, you should group one to two minutes worth of requests together, turn the radio on once, and send all of those requests at the same time. But batching is pretty helpful in other situations too, like rendering custom views. Rather than computing a transform matrix for every item, you could group them together and make small changes to a larger transform matrix, saving you precious resources. And then there's the most obvious case for batching, where some function needs to compute a lookup table before working on the data. So making a version that can batch together 20 pieces of data for one lookup table creation is a clear batching win. In fact, batching is so important that all modern processors now come equipped with mathematical batching support. Single instruction multiple data functions allow you to execute the same mathematical functions on multiple pieces of data all in parallel. So instead of spending individual CPU cycles on each of the four pieces of data, you can spend one cycle and get the same result. And that's really what the core of performance is about, finding every opportunity to reduce even the slightest performance overhead. Because a one millisecond overhead called 16 times in one frame is all it takes to destroy your frame rate. So to see other improvements and find more perf advice, check out the rest of our Android Performance Patterns content and consider joining our G community for tips, tricks, and help. But most importantly, keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters.